Over the past year, I've taken you down the streets, through the parks, and down some of the alleys of Bakersfield's most historic neighborhoods. But what about the next decade? What about 10 years from now, 20 years from now? What will Bakersfield look like? And what will this side of town, the west side, what will it look like? The city is likely to grow in all directions, but one direction we can be certain about is west. West Bakersfield is headed towards Interstate 5 and remarkably fast. Farmhouses that were miles from the nearest grocery store 10 or 20 years ago are surrounded in some areas by new development. Modest 80-year-old ranch houses have new neighbors on all sides. McMansions whose neighbors have taken advantage of Bakersfield's affordable property values and building costs. Kern County's Assistant Planning Director, Craig Murphy, doesn't know if residential and commercial development will ever reach Interstate 5. So, you know, a lot of people will look at and say, what is growth? A lot of people think growth means houses. Well, for part of it, yes. Growth also means businesses, economic development, and some of those areas may be better suited for different types of growth. Right, right. So will we ever get to I-5? You know, that's, who knows, maybe at some point. George Delfino, president of Delfino Homes, is a prominent builder out on Bakersfield's ever-expanding west side. He says residential and commercial growth might have already reached Enos Lane, that's Highway 43, if it hadn't been for the 2007 recession. I would say the boom, if, if that would have stayed on that, that pace that we were doing, somewhere in the 2002 to seven, we would probably be already past Enos 43, oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. It was just growing and growing and growing. What do the longtime residents of the West Side, farmers and ranchers mostly, who've been here for decades, think of this intrusion of McMansions? Jerry Frist, who lives right across Nord Avenue from Delfino's next major development, prepared himself for the onslaught by purchasing enough acreage and fencing it to give himself a built-in buffer. Well, I can't do anything about it, but fortunately, uh, that's why we kind of surrounded, our house is like five, 600 feet off the road. Yeah. So, and it's one way in, one way out, and the block wall helps now. And I thought, well, I can't fight what's happening, you know, because it's, as long as it's nice, you know, yeah. that's all we care about. Greg Enns, who also lives on Nord with his wife Debbie, Collie, Barbie, and quarter acre persimmon orchard, says anything is possible in this West Bakersfield growth spurt. I don't know what's going to happen, obviously. I mean, uh, we're, just, uh, we're just out here trying to make it, you know, just yeah. trying to do a good job. The city and the interstate are still pretty far apart. It's 20 miles to I-5 from where I am now. But who knows? Over the next uh, 20, 30 years, things might change. For the Bakersfield Californian, I'm Robert Price and this is where we live.